this video, we are going to make an STL file for the purposes of being able to 3D print our shape we've created in Onshape. To export this file, I'm going to come down where it says Part Studio, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to choose Export at the very bottom of the list. I have several options here. I can change the file name, which I think I should in this case. Part Studio 1 is not very descriptive. Please do not turn in parts called Part Studio 1. Uh, put your name in here, and then put in what the project is. So in this case, this is a keychain. The format is crucial. Um, there are a number of, of file formats that are supported by Onshape. Not all of them are compatible with 3D printing. Stereo lithography file is the file that we want to use. That is the file that is most friendly with our 3D printers. Uh, the rest of the settings can be left. Uh, binary formats fine. Millimeter units is really preferred uh, rather than inches. And resolution at fine. That's that's okay too. So this window is set up from our export. We got there by right clicking on the Part Studio section. All right. So I click OK. Now it's going to ask me where do I want to save this exported file. Uh, and if you're using a PC, you can choose which folder. And downloads folder might be just fine for this. If you're using your Chromebook, you may have the option of saving it in the cloud on your Google Drive or downloading it to the files area on the SD card that is local to your device. If you're using a Chromebook, probably not a bad idea to try to save it to the cloud in Google Drive. I think that will make it easier for you to submit your assignment and turn it into me. So I click Save, and now it's downloaded. At this point, you are finished with Onshape as far as the design goes. We will not need Onshape anymore to deal with our model. Our model is finished. Thank mm -hmm. you.